Hey there, thank you for checking out my video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use repeaters in Wix Studio and the various ways of using repeaters in Wix Studio from basics to connecting with your CMS collections. Right? If you are visiting my channel for the first time and watching my video for the first time, let me tell you about a little bit about myself. My name is Ashok. I build Webflow, Wix Studio and Framer website templates and I sell them on my websites. And also you can find free resources on my website which you can use in your client's project or your project. So let's dive into the video in detail and see how Repeater works and how you can use them in your projects. So currently I'm in my Wix Studio page. Uh, if you don't know how to do how to build a page or how to create a project in Wix Studio, you can check out my Wix Studio crash course and that I uh, did completely for beginners. And uh, if you still have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Right. So uh, there are so many ways to use repeaters in Wix Studio, but mostly people use it. Uh, developers or the agencies use it for showing the cms content showing the dynamic values which are coming from the cms but sometimes you may need it for showing your logos right i mostly use i i prefer uh, repeaters to use it for showing the logo care results that i can create uh, using the repeaters and the css grid in wix studio right so to add it uh, just go here click on the this plus icon after clicking on the plus icon in the quick add there's a repeater right it's already there you can just drag and drop on your canvas or else what you can do you can go to layout tools and then you have these layout tools in the repeater section grids click on the repeaters now you have the options right uh, now you can uh, uh, def uh, use these predefined pre-built uh, layouts by uh, Wix Studio team right you have the the cards you have this kind of cards and you have list and you have this kind of uh, repeaters right but what i what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this one so i'll just drag and drop here uh, on my canvas uh, it's a section here right uh, it's attached to a section so now as you can see the repeater is here uh, if you don't know all these terms right uh, centering align and left align all these docking things and all right uh, I would highly suggest again to go and watch my video before you watch this if you don't know anything here. Right. Uh, so here the main settings for the repeaters are here. What I'll do right now, I'll just make it, I'll stretch it out to full section, right? The width and the height, whatever the height and width of my section, the parent element of this repeater. Right. So right now uh, I have three items in my repeater. The repeater is card, the display type is card. The next is list, uh, it's uh, vertical items and slider. Sometimes you may need a slider right where uh, you have some items that where your users can scroll them. It's not a slider like uh, owl carousel or slick slider, but it's a simple uh, horizontal slider. I'll show you how, how you can use them. Right? Grid cells, right? You can create a grid cells also like uh, cards and all, right? So right now it's cards and then you have it like set a b design pattern right so if you want to uh, change your design pattern then you can use this design pattern but i don't use it i just use cards and then uh, it depends whichever uh, these required in uh, based on my designs right and then what i do is the direction right to left or left to right uh, from which uh, cards uh, comes first left to right or right to left right uh, i again i don't touch these uh, Right, but sometimes you may need this feature so you can use it set items per row it's unable right now and items i want per row are three but what if i want only two items per row just hit two and just hit enter so now as you can see uh the the third item was uh, aligned to the second one now it's on the next row right automatically you don't have to change or anything add any rows there so now let's look at these uh, gaps right where you have horizontal and vertical gaps horizontal gaps means the gap between the items and vertical gaps means the vertically gap between the items right uh, right now if you look at this asterisk sign next to the pixel it means that it's scalable right if i scale my 
my viewport just look at look at this so right now i'm using uh, a predefined max width for my sections right let me remove them first and let's see how it can work right section i'll go and i'll remove see apply max width i'll just remove that and now you can see uh, the gap will change automatically see look at look at the gap it is changing automatically now if i release this and the gap will decrease based on your layout size right so i don't prefer to use that because i don't want to change it because i want to keep my items st static right uh, so here what i'll do i'll just select pixel and again higher i will select pixel and i will edit like 40 there and for for vertical gap between the items and horizontally gap between the items is 40. now uh, this layout looks fine but uh, as per your design you may have a different uh, requirements so what i'll do i'll create on the start so all the items will uh, start from the start point from here right all the items will start from here or if you want from and means there right on the right hand side extreme right hand side and space between these are some css terms uh, if you want to learn more about this i also have a uh, course on flexbox 101 on my channel where you can check out how to use this uh, space between space around and all these terms to create a nice layout uh, depending on your requirements right okay so now i have uh, this right setup i have i want two uh, columns for or the two number of items per row right so now if you want to add a content here right what i'll do I'll just go here and i will add a title a simple title here i'll add a simple title here just <laughs> wait for a moment okay now i have the title just look at this so now you have the title everywhere right so now uh, if you add anything down here uh, for example i want to change it to heading one right i can change it here anything i want this won't change right it won't be same but you have something uh, this you are sharing the same layout here if i change a color background color of this item it will change the background color to other items also right that's the beauty of using repeaters in Vic studio it's very simple and very easy to use here i want to make my background color to this color right but now uh, uh, i i want these cards to be dynamic it should be dynamic coming from the cms so how can i do it so just select your repeater if you uh, don't know how to select from here just click here or go to your layers and go to click on the repeaters i will uh, hide this for now just click on the repeaters uh, repeater element here and then go to manage here if you want to add them statically or go to cms connections right this uh, this this icon is for cms items the dynamic item which is coming from the cms right now click on uh, this button add a data share right uh, by clicking on this data set button now you have to choose a collection from which collection you want the content coming from so here i want the content to come from my work and work it will you can set the name of this data set so if you want to use velo for any dynamic uh, coding or anything that you want then you can use this data set name there right so now i have created a data set for work data set right so now as you can see i i may have three items there i don't know i will check it now and let's see how many items do i have there in the work i have three items see i have three items right so let's uh, change this heading uh, let me make this heading uh, here a little bit bigger and you have work data set inside that you can add a title so now if you look at here so now you have item one item two item three right this data is coming like from new to old right but you can change them here in the data set settings uh, you can do all these for lazy loading and all those things right for performance here it's a uh, new 
to old right but i don't want that i want my old item to be first right uh, create a debt old to new now just look at this one two three that's it this is how you can connect your cms with repeaters so yeah uh, and if you want uh, let's say for the responsive thing so uh, here i think it looks fine but you can change the the size of this text and other things right let's say this much of size for the h1 heading and for for mobile click again on the design icon here by selecting your repeater and from two just make it one right so now you have three and i don't want 40 i'll make it 24 or let's say 16 i think this look nice yeah so now you have a responsive repeater in wix studio right which you can use it for many purpose uh, for let's say showing static data to dynamic data uh, i mostly use it for showing projects showing blog articles showing team members and showing other things which requires the cms right and um, i just want to list them out it depends on on the requirements that you have right and uh, the the use i can show you is uh, the recently i am I'm, I'm currently i'm working on this uh, fitness studio week studio website template uh, where i have used uh, uh, repeaters to show blogs to show team members trainers right and to show many other things also so i'll just show you here uh, right now you can see it's like the image the data everything is coming from the cms right right now i'm using repeater here as you can see i'm using repeater here and everything is coming from the cms so i i i, I think i have two or three blocks and that's what is coming from that and you can use the load more button which you can uh, use with the cms uh, to load more items right so yeah this is how you can use uh, repeaters in wix studio it's very easy and easy to use uh, wherever you want you can use it right in your client's project or in your own project yeah before you go uh, i want to discuss one more thing with you guys so if you guys are a fan of wix studio now and uh, you want more layouts all right then i'm working on this ui kit library for wix studio uh, where I'm using this Tailwind CSS based uh, design system to create this library which is responsive, completely responsive where I have header, where I have hero sections all the layouts that you want for your website to build if you look at just just look at these uh, layouts right with image uh, with these large images with these uh, uh, input forms, form here all these are ready to use and i'm still working on this and if you're interested uh, in getting this one to use it for your projects in the future or current projects you can just go to a link given in the description where you can join the waitlist and whenever it's ready i think probably in the next month it will be ready you can download you can get it automatically in your email or you can download from the website also right uh, and that's it and you can build amazing layouts in just minutes and just hours right uh, that's it from my end and thank you for watching the video on how to use repeaters in wix studio bye